Hello and welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. My next guest is Andrew Zolli. He's the Chief Impact Officer at Planet, a leading space company. Andrew, welcome. It's great to be with you, Gillian. Thank you. Tell me, what does Planet do? Planet designs, builds, and operates the largest constellation of satellites that look at the Earth in history. They orbit, we orbit hundreds of satellites in, a, in, a, in an orbit that goes from the north to the south pole, and as the Earth turns sideways underneath them, we image the entire planet every day. So every place on the terrestrial surface of the Earth and the near oceans, we see on a daily basis. But um, you know, you, you talk about what you're doing. How does that uh, benefit humankind? Well, you know, we like to say you can't fix what you can't see. You can't manage what you don't measure. And we're here at the AI for Good Global Summit in part because we want to leverage the best tools, the best data in furtherance of sustainable development. That means ensuring that we reduce and then reverse rates of deforestation. It means using uh, and, uh, and, and engaging in agriculture in a more climate adapted kind of way. And in order to do those kinds of activities, you really need to have the best information possible. And the good news is that now we're actually collecting enormous volumes of information about the Earth, enough to be able to guide those behaviors and actually deliver sustainable development. So give us an example of, of what you're doing. Well, a good example might be a, a project that we're jointly running with our friends at Microsoft at their AI for Good laboratory and the Nature Conservancy, a large NGO. One of the SDGs, SDG 7, is uh, focused on ensuring the delivery of uh, efficient, uh, ecological and and affordable energy for all. In order to do that, we're going to have to build enormous amounts of renewable energy. Uh, and tracking our progress in that goal uh, is actually a challenge because lots of people are engaging in, in various activities all the time. So we've built a platform in which we are actually using the tools of computer vision, the same tools that Google uses to tell you whether an image is of a cat or a dog, to find every utility grade renewable energy resource on the planet and make it available as a global public good so we can collectively measure our progress in every part of the world to meeting this particular SDG. What would you like to see come out of the whole summit? Well, you know, we, we're it's kind of an interesting moment. Um, we have seven years left before we actually meet, before the, the beginning of 2030. Uh, to that's seven growing seasons. It's seven. It's seven. Um, so I should say rather, it's a sort of seven planting seasons uh, and, and harvesting seasons. Um, we have to do an enormous amount of work very quickly if we're going to both fulfill the 2030 agenda and avoid the worst effects of climate change. And in order to do that, we've got to be much more nimble than we have been. And we have to take the institutions that have the right provenance, they have the right governance, they have the right position in the world, and we have to make them more agile, we have to make them more effective, we have to guide their behavior so they can guide others' behaviors uh, in the world. And that is really the UN, it's the entire UN ecosystem that must play a vitally important part in this. So. What I would like to see is the best institutions at the UN empowered with the best technologies to deliver on that agenda. And that requires cooperation between organizations like ours and the UN and all of the other NGOs and scientific institutions and governments of the world and the communities and indigenous peoples to all work together. That's what we're looking for. Mm. You talk about cooperation, but what about the importance of the guidelines, as it were? What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, the, it's been an interesting thing. We're here at the AI for Good Summit. For a long time, AI has been subject to what we might think of as sort of continual overpromise. People kept saying, really big breakthroughs are right around the corner. Everything was sort of at the seed stage, and there was a lot of hand waving about what was coming. Now, we're at a moment where very big things are happening right now. And we do need guidelines. We do need structures to help ensure that these tools are used responsibly, that they're, that they're used for collective benefit and not just for the benefit of a few. Um, because the, 
moment is too urgent for us to simply treat this as a, an economic tool for the benefit of a few enterprises and a few zip codes in a particularly wealthy country. It has to be used for the benefit of everyone. So, mm -hmm. And the only way to do that is really to enforce, some of it is guidelines. It may not be regulations, and it may be regulations, but it's, it's about establishing those and also establishing norms so that it's just expected that we use these tools in the right ways. You described it as being a pivotal moment. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean just what I said, that we are in this moment now where AI is making really substantial impacts, and those impacts are moving at a pace that surprise even the technologists who are working at the core. Things are moving so fast and so quickly that this is going to be, the, the impact of AI on the world is going to be like the impact of the economic liberation of women or the rise of the internet or the um, creation of automation and industrialization. It's gonna have that large an impact on the world. This is a new industrial revolution, it's at that scale. And so it requires us to bring the right people to the table from governance and technology and all of those folks. And, and that's what this particular program is doing so well. Thank you so much for your insights, very interesting. Thank you very much, our guest, Andrew Zoli from Planet. Thank you so much. And that's it for the moment from the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva.